Alright, let's go get ammunition and then head on down. This is the gears, man. Every time. We're gonna take some grenades with us, too. Okay, how much ammunition do I have? Okay, 200 rounds. That's that's not bad. By the way, anytime I lose a turret, it's a fucking disaster. I just want to mention that. So... Oh, we lost one of these things, too. The fuck? Yeah, so they kind of made it through this. And we could double wall this, which is not a bad idea, but yeah. For some reason, I'm not doing that. Okay. Let's go rebuild this guy, because... I mean, we're still good for that, but yeah. You never know. Like I know these two, these two aren't going here, and I don't think that's actually the, the like it's it's a it's a problem, but it's not the problem. So I've I've done believe me I've done this scenario a couple times now. So trying to repair this wall. We may, as I said, we may just need more turrets. Alright, we need to now work on pump jacks. Oh, we need actually an abundance of uh, oil uh, facilities as well. So let's actually do that as well. So this is also something that we have to do uh, a lot of. Let's get that down so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So uh, because of the fact we're going to be working with oil right now, um, usually what I typically do is I uh, take two of these. So it's not like this. No, maybe not quite like that. So we need to make underground pipes and we need to make normal pipes. And we just need chests full of this stuff. And I know, actually, I can't have it eating from here. That's actually horrible. I may have to just do it myself, honestly. Maybe, maybe down here or something. Like I can't, I can't, I honestly can't think of a better way of doing this right now. Okay, we'll do it over here, because luckily it's something that only it's it's something that only requires iron. So we only technically need to just have it go over here. We have uh, two chests. Uh, actually, I had one already, but that's fine. All right. So oil is one of those things that requires a lot of piping, as you can imagine. Um, way too much piping if you ask me so occasionally it's going to need to feed it to this guy Actually, pr pretty often it's going to have to do that oh well so the, the the key is here though to have two chests kind of filling up with both of the materials that we need and ideally we would have done this much earlier but we didn't do it much earlier so we have some pipes now though so that's okay so that's just gonna be feeding off of once again the iron. Like you getting you, you seeing the trend here. Where, like everything requires iron in this game, uh, especially early on. You don't really need anything else. And now we're working on pump jacks. So luckily these things are working their tails off. And now this has a problem with iron coming through the line here. It's our main ammo, so we gotta basically give it. Uh, we gotta give it everything we've got. Now, ideally, you make a third line of um, of this stuff, but you know, if you can't, then you can't, because it's just the reality of the situation. Yeah, everything requires gun turrets right now, and gun turrets are requiring copper, iron plates right now. So we're going to feed it actually what it needs right now. And then we're probably just going to leave it, honestly. Um, we're not going to do anything else that requires military science until we get some more shit. 
probably just their basic necessities. Like, you can see that there's some shit here that, like, oh, blood damage three you can get, you know, or something like gun turret damage three. It's, it's, but it's literally awful. If you spend the military science now, it's just so bad. So that's why we're not going to be doing that. We're just going for the flamethrowers. And then we're going to go for the pump jacks. And that's it. And I'm going to, got to make some more turrets to defend the oil lines. So, as you can see, this is also having a bit of issues now here. We got, we got a little bit going here. Alright, so, to get our oil going, uh, I mean, I think four pump jacks is enough, but we'll see. Um, probably, well, it'll be enough for now, I'll tell you that much. You can tell, but the thing is, the minute we get these things going, then we're going to be using much less, uh, much less resources, trust me on that. So it's going to have to be like right here or something. Something like this. Yeah, and we'll just make like some gun turrets like right, right in here. So when they come after this, then they die. Oops, I didn't mean to take everything out. As I said, I can't quite know that the angles that they're going to attack from, but uh, we just need to kind of defend ourselves as much as we can here. All right. So, hey, we got oil, guys. I mean, that's what. Let's let's be honest. Is the story of Factorio is that we came for the aliens' oil and to and to give them democracy. All right, so. Uh, now you might be wondering yourself, Mike, you don't have any place to store it. The, the pipes actually count as a place to store things like this. So we actually don't have to really worry about that for the time being. Um, did they ever, did they make it through here at some point? I don't think they did actually. So let's go over to, I'm going to head over to where I'm storing all this crap here. Let's just make sure that we're feeding anything that, that directly needs it. Yeah, just, it's it's the gun turrets. It's, it's what it is every single frickin' time. That's why we're not going to do any more of this uh, when we're done. 55 armor piercing rounds. Alright, it's still not bad. I mean, if we're smart, we put these firearm magazines directly into there, but we're not. So, because I, I, may, I may decide I want to have it some somehow else. And the minute we get flamethrower turrets, the game changes for us. Like, entirely changes. It's ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to actually go take some of the uh, engine units that I crafted over here. I'm going to just uh, take them in my hand. The reason for that is... Um, we, I can manually craft some of the engine units. Or sorry, uh, some of the uh, some of the things for the flamethrower turrets. I don't know how much it needs of both, but I guess I'm just going to give them both fast inserters for when this thing is ready. And it should be one. Alright, what, what what's getting destroyed? This thing. Okay. So they are really coming down on us now, but that's okay. Because we're almost done. Like, it's like literally, we're at the fucking... Like, right there. I swear they must have changed this. Like, I actually can't explain it to you any other way, because I, I think they have changed it. Alright, let's put the turret here, and then I'm going to just drop this pistol. They, mu they must have changed when they spawn. I swear they didn't spawn until a little bit later than this. But this is actually incredibly bad for us because... Okay, let's just uh, deal with these guys. Because the spitter, as I said, they, they range our guys. They range our turrets, which is incredibly bad for us. The flamethrower turrets are literally the only thing we can get that, that will defend against that.
but yeah, like you can tell, like they take a bit of damage here and there. So, not it's not an easy scenario. Let me tell you, it's not an easy scenario. All right, let me go check up on our resources again. Like I said, it's these two just don't unload. Like, and I guess these two don't really either. Actually, hey, yeah, you're good. Trust me, the minute we get flamethrower turrets, everything changes. Oh, steel bars are not coming through. Why? Oh, because it's being used there now, too. Thing is, I can't really, I can't add any more, because it's just, this is as many as it comes through. I mean, I can just, like, plop some in. There's nothing wrong with that as well. Yeah, we may have to consider to ourselves to actually get another line of furnaces somehow. But the thing is, uh, there is no other iron here. So that is actually not something we can do. But, like I said, military science is something that requires a lot of iron. If we just stop do it, using it, then it should be still pretty good. I, I think, I honestly think it's going to give us a bit of a breather. I may, you know, I might, you know, I actually might be able to do it. I, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to, like, uh, this one I'm going to have to utilize both sides. That's what I'm going to have to do. We can actually make another iron line. These are not problems I had on my original run, by the way. What the hell is the problem now? Okay. That one almost died too. Thing is, like they have they have armor piercing rounds in them, and I don't have a lot of armor piercing rounds. So when they die, it's actually incredibly bad. <laughs> like you would not believe. All right, we got it. Uh, let's just get this going on flamethrower turrets right now. Do you have all the materials you need? Yes, you do. Okay, let's just leave it. We don't. We can forget about it. Uh, let's just f focus on something else right now. Um, fucking, what's a good thing to, for us to get now? Maybe power. Just trying to think of something, if there's anything, like, good. Actually, we need fluid handling. Uh, you know, give me, like, two more of these. And then you can work on the rest of these. That's why I'm trying to only give it like half of what it can support. If we had five, I'm sure it would actually be much, much better off. But you know what? We have flamethrower turrets now, so. I just stopped caring. All right, let's get these fuckers going. So we're gonna take everything we can from these. Particularly we need more of the underground pipes, but you know what, hey. That's what eating random things off of this liner is for. It's always primarily pipe to ground that we need. How many walls do we have? Okay, we have a lot. So, okay, so this is how it goes. Flamethrower turret. Right there. And where is the pipe to ground? So you can just fill these things up with crude oil and it's fine. So there you go, it has, it, had, it has what it needs to know. Uh, this will also probably set the forest on fire, but yeah, that's fine. I also probably need to put this shit somewhere in here. Like the pipes and the... These things. I don't need burner inserters. Regular inserters are fine. Alright, this is, this is okay. Alright. So where's my... There you go, pipe to ground. do this. So this will be now much more effective at dealing with fighters. We need to really go up to the top one though. The top one is the one that needs it the most. Because when they come in from the river, it's so bad. That's why we have an abundance of these things. There we go. I can help out.
Looks like the defense is held. For now. May not be, I may be speaking too soon, who knows. You're gonna notice, like, the fucking huge difference these things make. Holy shit. I'm sorry if I'm cussing too much, but I'm excited. We just got ourselves what's probably gonna help us win the game. Alright, there you go. Uh, crude oil's now on these. Now, it's not to say that this they, they won't take damage anymore. They will continue to take damage, but uh, you're gonna notice it's gonna be, like, much less ammunition being spent on this crap. Uh, that's the first thing. And the second thing is, it's just gonna be... yeah. Alright, let's do one more thing. So, the amount... so having stuff in the pipes is actually, uh, like... As I said, it counts as a way of storing it. So, we're actually fine. So, we do that. And by the way, you can you notice how there's like an arc to the flamethrower turrets? Yeah, that's a thing. That's something you have to take into account. Is that they have an arc to them. So generally you want it facing towards the enemy. Uh, that's usually how it works. Fire works best when it goes onto the enemy. Okay, so there you go. It's got enough crude oil now. It's it's filling. It just basically fills itso itself up. It's kind of weird how this stuff works. And that's and the fluid fluid mechanics is something that we will learn about an another time. Like we're obviously uh, really deep into this whole uh, fucking like not dying thing right now. So I mean, it's nice. All right, let me see. Do I have another one? Yes, I do. All right, so now we need to bring the oil to the, over here, this side. Uh, which means we can actually just bring it through here, actually. There's no problem with that. But we're actually out of uh, underground pipes, but that kind of, the, we now have covered our other side here, which is really nice. So. Oh. Now this kind of stuff might be a problem when they, when they come from unexpected angles, but I mean. Is there much we can do about that? Probably not. Alright, how many more do we have here? F two more. Alright. The problem is steel. problem is steel. And we can kind of solve that by feeding the, the, the furnaces manually, just to divert it from other places. Um, there you go. And, uh, yeah, I think we're good. Alright, so how many more did I pick up for these things? Okay, we got 28 more, so that's still pretty good. As I said, believe it or not, we actually don't really need to, um, we don't really have to worry about a lot of this stuff. Um... Like, with regards to, like, having it go into uh, storage containers. I mean, obviously that is the, the, the ultimate solution, but you've, you're noticing how right now I'm not even doing that. Like, they're just filling it directly from the... Because, as I said, they have their own little st internal storage, so... We don't have to have giant uh, pipes just yet. You can tell, like, it's, it's full already. Alright, we have to be kind of careful here, because... Um, the biters might attack the pipeline. Because they're jerks and that's what they'll do. I'm also thinking I need to actually change out where this is, so you know what? It's fine. Now if you're wondering how the crude oil is going to go, I'm just going to have it go through kind of the base, I guess, somewhere. I haven't quite decided that yet. I think I have to make it face this way, actually. That yeah, shit. I don't think I can actually do this any other way. Hopefully they will not attack uh, the top here, but... 
It's not a good thing to do. I mean, I could just have another flamethrower just facing this way or something. I mean, this is this would be the smart play, honestly, is to do something like this. And there you go. Both sides covered, lads. God damn, flamethrower turrets are nice. Uh, we're, we're not seeing any more, though, but it's still making some more. I'll just give it, because it needs 30 steel plates. But luckily, when that, those are basically done and through, yeah. We are going to make another row of furnaces, though. Okay, let's go over here and help these out real quick. Actually, they're, they're actually holding their own. Very impressive, actually, these turrets. I mean, like I said, the... It's essentially still an investment. Oh, holy shit, we don't have enough am ammunition here. Okay. How many more turrets do we have? I can make like two more. Yeah, it's as I said, it is an investment. And I, I'm debating how to bring through the oil. I think I do have to bring it through the base. It doesn't make sense to do it any other way. Yeah, th this is not getting steel either, so... Uh, once we're done, we're done. Uh, do we have more turrets here? Hey, give me another turret here. Yeah, this stuff still eats fucking, uh, like... You know what, let's just remove that. That's how we're gonna fix that. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. You get all the... whoops. You get all the armor piercing rounds, you get some of the, the shit rounds. Pair some of this. Alright, whatever, it's good enough. Um, so now we're gonna go and bring oil from somewhere in here. I, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I've just decided it has to come through the middle of the base. I think maybe just up the center? No, 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 it can't be that. There you go, some more pipes. Yeah, there you go. Like, it's already just setting everything on fire. Uh, by the way, fire is also something biters hate. So, uh, that generates pollution, but it's a temporary pollution. So, um, we, we don't actually really care. Fluid handling finished. Alright. I guess we can start working on, like, light and stuff, but... These are, like... The thing is, when you work on things like that... Whoops. Um, I minim minimized uh, accidentally. When you start working on things, like, um, that you're not supposed to... Um, I mean... You, you have to be really in a good state to do it. Because if you do it at a time where you need resources... Because me researching things costs resources. So... Alright... Put this one down here or something. She probably somewhere up. No, no, I have one up there. It's fine. Yeah, optics just like finish like instantly. Yeah, so this is how I've decided how I'm going to bring th things the the oil through the base. So, uh, we can like we can always change it later. It's fine. I didn't really get to show you actually how they look when they're doing their thing, did I? Actually, I kind of just did it and then like, oh, let's not look at it at all. Now we'll we'll see it in a little bit. Sorry, we're kind of uh, uh, under a little bit of pressure here, as you can imagine. Uh, trust me, it's it's just wonderful. The things that they do. Alright, so there's things. I guess I will still have it come up the side here. Yeah, you can see, like, everything is fucking on fire now. But that's what we like. We like things on fire. Alright, we got another flamethrower turret. Um, here's the thing, look at this. This is, like, completely saturated all the way through. It's just not making it to the steel furnaces, really. If, actually, it is making it there now. It's just, like, when things start having problems... It always eats it from the other side first. But that's okay. We still have a bit of time. Um, now I know you're like, I, I, I haven't really gone through and explained a lot of like why this is so fucking difficult, but like, believe me when I say like, 
I have attempted several different like variations of this kind of run, uh, and this was the best way of doing this. It's insane um, how close it is uh, with regards to like what I have to do. Okay, I, I may not actually bring. Okay, so you can you can see like the forest is completely dead. So uh, success. Because the way this scenario works out is um, it's very dependent upon getting the, the flamethrower tech pretty fast um, at a relatively good speed. So you can actually see right down there, actually, it's doing its thing. So this is why, this is you see, these are little spitters. They're always in the back, and they're getting fucking wrecked right now. So, and I guess I guess we could make the storage tanks now, but let me just finish these things first. Like they're getting, they're getting, they're getting mauled right now. Like, and 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 it's good. It's good for us. And that's why, that's why this works. It's because you, we, it's the only way we have of hitting them before they get into range. Um, no other turret really does that. Like we have laser turrets, but the laser turrets will take hits, and that doesn't. That's not really conducive of like an automated solution for dealing with a lot of these problems. The only way is to do what I just did, like, is just to fucking, like, <laughs> to rush flamethrower turrets. So that's, that's, you, we just kind of, like, beat the early game with doing that. It's insane. Um, alright, what was I about to do? Oh yeah, I was gonna make, uh, some of these things. Uh, maybe, like, two, two or three storage tanks. Somewhere. So. We will need another line of, uh, let's make two storage tanks, that's what we'll do. Okay, how's our tool doing? It's actually not doing terribly great, but I don't really want to do any more for that right now. So yeah, this is all now going now completely, because as I said, the minute I stopped using the resources on things like... Um, uh, when I when I stopped using it on the, the military science, when I stopped doing military science, it stopped eating so much resources. So we can actually make two storage tanks here, and this will store up a couple of resources for us as well. You can, set, you can tell they're still having an issue here, but it's because they're coming from the left side as well. Uh, and the only way to fix that is to actually just put another, like, another flamethrower turret facing the other, uh, the other side. So the, the gun turrets are still needed because the flamethrower turrets basically act as fire support. Uh, uh, quite literally, actually, fire support. Uh, they, they actually miss the things in the front, but the front always has the biters. The, the, the things in the back are always the spitters. So the collateral damage is what actually uh, makes this makes this uh, makes them actually so good. Uh, so this apparently doesn't have enough crude oil, but it's probably because we need pumps. Or actually, no, it's because it's diverting to the uh, the, the the storage tanks. So we're actually still good. Don't worry about it. Um, I mean, the the best solution is actually to make a uh, um, where is it a pump here. So if we make a pump, we can pressurize it. How many more do we have? Two more flame stars? Okay. If we if we make a pump over there, we can actually pressurize the uh, other parts of the of the system. Um, I'm starting to think I should have done it slightly differently. Fuck, whatever. I need one more steel plate actually. So this we're starting to get into the the dynamics of fluid handling, uh, which is always great. Uh, yeah, so two walls isn't actually really necessary. It's just getting the one going is, is actually what's needed. All right, so here we have pumps. So this is an interesting, neat little concept. So this will take out, it needs power, but it will automatically, yeah, it's just making one more. It will automatically try and, uh, see now you can tell, look at the crude oil now on this side. So this will automatically force feed everything out of the, the crude oil. Uh, the crude the crude oil uh, storage tanks that we have it will force feed it out, and it will instead try and make it okay. There's ammo running up there. It will it will try to make it so that it, it goes directly to where it needs to go. It's dead. Now, things like this place where it's getting attacked a lot, there is actually a solution for um, things that are getting hit really hard, and it's more flamethrower turrets. <laughs> Believe it or not. Uh, 
you know, if we need more, we get more. That's it. So you can tell, so you can see now that like, if we actually hover over this, they're completely pressurized. It's that, it's that progress bar that you can kind of see They're they're You can see the pressure through there. All right. So now we need this guy. Should we need, we need a little bit more pipes. So like I said, as long as they have something to attack, uh, they don't care. They do not, they simply do not care about anything that I have. Look at, the, look at this place, man. Dude, that, those armor piercing rounds did, just came out at the exact perfect moment. And then like, then the turrets came out at the exact perfect moment. It's insane. The timings, man, it's the timings, they're crazy. And so these things are just so freaking good. All right, and then we just need to do that one, and then we're done. I'm probably gonna, just gonna make it go this way a little bit. Now I know this is like a little bit ugly because we have these random ass pipes going like all throughout the base, and uh, you may, if you're particularly into the feng shui aspect of video games, uh, you may not be a big fan of that. But what we're doing here is actually the, the end goal is actually to build a ginormous fucking wall around the base. And with laser turrets. And so, yes, that does mean we're rushing laser turrets. And someone was wondering, uh, like, if you're a veteran in the game, you, you know the power requirements of that. If you're wondering how I'm going to handle that, well, that's what this coal patch is for down here. Uh, we are going to run steam engines for fucking days. Um, going to be a lot of steam engines, let me tell you that. So I think I should start trying to handle some of these bases here. Okay. This is a slight problem. We need more, uh, I didn't think they would be coming from that angle. Well, actually, it's a corner, so of course they would be. That's a dumbass question, or dumbass something from me. So we got another flamethrower turret, so we're gonna adjust this one slightly, so it actually, the flamethrower turret also hits that side too. Uh, should we do something like this? No, we should just do this side. There you go. This is all that's needed. And we can kind of, uh, I'm gonna twist this slightly differently. It's hoping to leave more space here for me building, but yeah, it's just, we're gonna have to accept that, you know, occasionally we're gonna have to deal with this like that. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so we're gonna, we're basically done with that. Um, we can take like a couple seconds actually now to, to do some of these, um, oh, right. I, I removed this from the line. We can put it back in. Kind of wanted more, uh, kind of wanted some gun turrets with me. All right. I'm trying to just debate here. So, uh, Another iron line is not against the rules here. Uh, yeah, so this is, that is a really hectic place. So now it's just a matter of improving existing designs uh, where needed. So uh, I think we're past regular ammo now uh, because we, it does make enough piercing rounds for us at this point, so. Oh, I didn't know, I also didn't explain why flamethrowers is actually the, one of the best turrets in the game. That and laser turrets. So, biters have resistances. Um, mostly they have physical resistances and they, it gets worse later on. So, gun turrets start to fall off pretty pretty damn quickly. Um, but the way it works is, uh, if you build um, flamethrower turrets, they're not resistant to fire. They never gain resistances to fire. So, flamethrower turrets are, flamethrower turrets are pretty much just effective at every part in the game. So, it's one of those more, the, the more you know facts. I also fucking hate this. Why did I build this so damn close? I, I, I might actually just go build it slightly further away and then get some biters on me and then immediately regret my decision. Just gonna build it further out like here. This is the exact moment that they like to attack me in this kind of situation. All right. So 
So we actually kind of do trust the turrets a little bit better now to have more ammunition because of the fact that they're not going to just get destroyed by the back line of biters that uh, that appears or whatever. Actually, they're, they're now actually better at handling this stuff now. Uh, let's see here. Just trying to make a nice line going into that. There you go. So now that has what it needs to. This is just, this is the problem. This is like the troubleshooting part of the game where we basically find any problematic areas and we fix them. So this one, this one we've kind of determined that there's something that's, that there's some reason why that like they're attacking here a lot. So um, there might be a nest there. And I, I mean, we can see that there's some nests here. Um, and we're going to have to probably do something about that eventually, but yeah. Uh, like, this one's not a huge problem. This one was just, like, tremendous. So having two of them is actually good. And, I mean, you can go even one above that and actually have, like, more turrets there as well. Like, any problematic areas. Like, we, we can kind of have a look around now. You can tell, like, they're just... They're doing, they're doing their job now. And now we have, like, crude oil entering these as well. Uh, this is starting to run out of ammo there, so we'll just, uh... We'll just pop down there and give them some more ammo as well. How many walls do we have? Alright, that's a good start. And when I say good start, I actually literally mean it. Like, it's just, uh, we're gonna need a lot of walls. We should get a car. We should totally get a car soon. And you see these fucking firearm magazines? We're gonna get rid of those. Okay, so they're, al they're also coming from over there. But actually, wait, I already thought of this. I actually did my job. We can just actually just feed this. I just want to change positioning on that. So yeah, they, they come from over there too now. Let's see what's being attacked now. Okay, so you can tell something was attacking over there. But yeah, things went on. Um, I probably made this episode much longer than I needed it to be. So uh, lab research speed is okay. Um, bullet shooting speed is not out of the question actually. Uh, because the turrets also benefit from that. Um, like I said, military... Anything that requires military science packs is very questionable to do. Because of the amount of resources it will need. Uh, but we have to actually start heading down the route of plastics. Into electronics. Into like a bunch of other shit. So uh, this is when things start to get a bit insane. Because the thing... Our end goal is actually um, lasers. So just to give you an idea. I'm just going to wrap it up on this. So we need lasers. That requires plastics. So this is lasers. It doesn't give you much here. Uh, so plastics makes plastics. Uh, where's lasers at in the tree? Okay, so we're trying to head for laser turrets. Laser turrets require uh, 20 steel plates. So once again, steel plates, a bit of a problem. This is why we're probably maybe going to start mining out of the iron. Uh, like getting another furnace layout going. Um, so that's... That's something that we need. We need to get to this. It does require military science as well. Um, 800. Uh, so it's that's why the flamethrower turrets have to happen. Like there's no there's no other way. So there's that. Um, and then so they require batteries as well. What do batteries need? So batteries need iron plates, copper plates, sulfuric acid. What is sulfuric acid? That is this, and so it requires sulfur. Oh, what is sulfur? It requires petroleum gas. Petroleum gas is refining the crude oil into into different liquids. So then we get into essentially what is uh, managing liquids and stuff like that. And the thing is, before we build the wall, uh, we need to get to uh, blue science. Because the blue science makes it actually so much more, uh, what's the word, bearable to do? Um, yeah, it's... Doing, building things like that are, is literally awful. If you're doing like a massive construction project, it's literally awful and you need that. Um, actually, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna get the cars. Do I, do, I, do I get automotive? What do I need for this? Oh, you need logistics too, apparently for this? Yeah, this is like fast splitters and shit. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna just go towards the cars because we, we're gonna need it anyways. Because we need railways and stuff. Oh, we don't need railways now. We actually, we, we actually can totally skip on it if we wanted to. But it is such a nice quality of life thing, I fucking want it. Uh, honestly, as I said, the, the, the flamethrower turrets will actually do their job right now. Um, 
and this is why we need to maybe tap into one more uh, iron patch, or like uh, we can't we can't really tap into another iron patch. But we're we're gonna have to put another row of furnaces to to bring in more iron, just so the steel plates can be up to speed. But we may not actually need it. So that's that's the first thing. So yeah, so we need to now refine a bunch of resources into things into batteries for our laser turrets. That's the first thing. And the second thing that we're going to need is we're going to need this blue science. Blue science is fucking insane. All right. This is like, this is the worst fucking shit, by the way. So for one science pack three, you need advanced circuit. Okay. That's whatever you need one X engine unit, uh, which you've been seeing me do that. Um, kind of like it's requires the pipes, the steel and all that kind of stuff. So steels requirement and electric mining drill. Now I've been handcrafting those this entire time. Um, and you've been like kind of thinking to yourself, oh, it's whatever, man. Fuck, I, I don't care. It's like, well, like you don't realize how expensive electric mine drills are to make. Because remember, remember the golden rule. If we're trying to make one per second, it means that, um, I'll, I'll show you in a sec, but it, uh, the, the, these advanced circuits, they're not so bad. You just require plastic bars, which is a product of oil uh, and some copper cables and some other bullshit. So the advanced circuits, not so bad. The science packs, though, are particularly awful because the electric mining drills require five electronic circuits, 10 iron gears, 20 iron plates, and they make it, they make, and that's for every two seconds. So you got to make two of these, and they're just like eating through resources like crazy. So, anyways, uh, yeah, so that's done for this. I'll probably upgrade this shit too because it's still using assembly machine ones and all that kind of crap. So, yeah, that's the plan is we're going to have to work on our oil we're gonna have to get this coal and we're gonna have to uh build more shit we're going to build blue science so blue science is so much fun so anyways thanks a lot for tuning in and uh i'll see you guys next time hey, what, what time are we at we're at 350 so pretty much the the spitters uh, spawn exactly when they when they should and we got Flamethrower Torch is barely on time. It's insane. <laughs> it's good times. Very, very high tension shit that I love. But yeah. So uh, thanks for tuning in. And next time uh, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get going on some other stuff. So take care. Goodbye.